This is Councillor Tim Swift, Leader of the Council. Today we're running the largest live exercise we've ever carried out in Calderdale to test our preparedness for an emergency and particularly for a flooding event of the, the kind that we suffered from in December last year. It's involving a lot of different council departments but also of course many of our partner agencies as well so the emergency services are all taking in part as well as people like the environment agency the canal and river trust really everybody who who would be affected if they're in the in the event of, of real flooding what we want to do is to make sure that we've really learnt all the lessons from the flooding in boxing day last year and that our emergency plans are as robust and prepared as they can be we think it's really important that we do this, firstly to check out that we, that we have got our plans right, that everybody knows what role they have to play, but also to, to help to reassure residents that we are prepared and if, if the worst did happen and there was any sort of incident over the winter, then everything possible has been done to prepare for it and to keep local people safe. Graham Lindsay, I'm a Flood Resilience Advisor at the Environment Agency. So I'm in Tomberton Hub this morning after doing uh, and being involved in our siren test. We had our eight sirens going off at half past ten this morning, uh, which is an annual test we do to make sure they're working, make sure they can be heard across the communities in the Upper Valley. Essentially we're supporting Calderdale Council with the exercise they're doing. Obviously in the Upper Calder Valley, because of the, the nature of the steep sided valleys, um, when it does rain hard, flooding can happen very, very quickly. So with the sirens, we're able to get a message out extremely quickly to the whole community so that they're aware that flooding is expected. 